Lupita Nyong'o, the Kenyan Black Panther actress, who said, I definitely feel that my mandate on this earth is to expand our understanding of African identity, is now dating Canadian actor Joshua Jackson. Listen, man. Who thinks any black male celebrities are upset? Are like, damn, rats. Who thinks that, man? Also, also a little bit upset. But who thinks any NBA ball players, man? <laughs> any rappers, man? Any actors, man? Black male actors, man? They're like, man. Should have acted sooner, man. Dog on it, dag nabbit. <laughs> you talk about a little, a little, a dark skinned chick. I mean, she dark, dark. She dark, dark. She like, she blue black. So you think any black man would be mad that some blue black, black chick? With real titties and a real ass. <laughs> Some blue black chick with real titties and a real ass and a and a goddamn Caesar. She got a Caesar. Who think and listen, I, I'm not I'm not I don't have a problem with her. I'm talking about black male celebrities and what we routinely see them with. Whether they're woke, whether they're coons, whatever. I don't think any of them care. She's, she's not their type. So she went and got with a white man. Salute to her. Salute to her. She probably waited around. I remember when she first got famous. She probably waited around thinking some ball player was gonna ask her out. Man, ain't one ball player ask her out, man. <laughs> Not one ball player was like, hey Lupita, man, we're going to date. <laughs> yeah, man, this white dude, man. White dudes like chicks that look like this, man. White dudes like them ethnic looking bush babies. <laughs> Press me on, man. White dudes like them little ethnic looking bush babies, man. Once a brother gets some money, man. <laughs> Once a brother gets some money, he wouldn't touch one of these women with a fucking 80,000 foot pole, man. Once a brother gets some ducats, he wouldn't touch one of these bush babies with an 80,000 foot pole. <laughs> You think Lupita? I don't think Lupita's ugly or anything like that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say anything like that, man. No, she's she's cute. She's cute. I was annoyed that they was trying to act like she was the cutest dark skinned chick on the world. I was like, damn, y'all niggas foul, man. Y'all y'all disrespectful, man. Um, slap shout out to Barry B, man. I think she's Hall of Famer, man. I don't have no problem with Lupita, man. I think she's she's cute, man. She's got a cuteness to her, man. I don't think she's she ain't nowhere near like the, the dark skinned chick that I follow on um on um Instagram or whatever or anything like that. She ain't like none of them. 
But she's cute, man. But she's still you. I haven't seen one of these niggas with a chip that look like this. I haven't seen one of these ball players because the dude she dating, the white dude she dating, he's an actor. I haven't seen none of the black actors with nobody look like this. None of the ones my age and younger. Now, Denzel and Samuel L. Jackson, and all them dudes back in the day, maybe, but none of the ones my age and younger, I haven't seen none of them with nobody look like this, man. I think she's, I think she could, I think she did the right thing, man. She went and found her somebody that want her, man. Somebody that want you, man. You found somebody that wants you, man. Smash that like button, man. How many likes we got, man? Oh, shit. Only 134? Damn. We doing bad, man. We need to get up to 200 early, man. Everybody who has not hit the like button, go on and hit it. Everybody who's just getting in right now, go on and hit the like button. Salute. <laughs> My man Charles said dark skinned black women are the least cutest out of all women. I, I disagree with that, man. I think they're the cutest, man. I think they're the cutest, man. I think they're the cutest. I think um I think the most overrated are white women. But if you want it, if you want it, if you listen, I will say this though. I'm not gonna lie. Biracial women and Latinas and um sand women when they cute. Like you got white women over here and you got sisters, you got bush babies over here. You got bush babies here and white women here. Pure white women. I'm not talking about like, I'm talking about bitch look like she Nordic looking bitches. Viking bitches. You got Viking bitches over here and you got bush babies over here. I do will we'll agree that the biracial, the mix up ones are, 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 are better looking. The ones with both when they're cute, not all of them, but when they're cute, I do believe that a biracial woman, when she's beautiful, a beautiful biracial woman is prettier than a white woman. And probably prettier than a black woman. I do believe that a Latina is prettier than a white woman. It may be prettier than a, a black woman. Nah, Ice Spice don't do it for me, man. I'm sorry, man. I apologize, man. It just, I, I just don't get it, man. I've never listened to one of her songs, so I can't tell you about her music. But the look, the face, I, it's just, it's like, it's kind of like, um, I'm, when I see Ice Spice, I'm like, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and they're like, no, nah, she bad. And I'm like, oh, word. That's what you, I thought you was, I, I thought she like killed somebody or something. It was like, no, nah, she bad. She a baddie. I'm like, oh, man. Ice Spice is schmadagular, man. Um, schmagler. But shout out to Lupita, man, for finding someone to someone that appreciates her, man. Her beauty, man. White dudes. If you a dark skinned chick, man, if you a bush baby, hey, all you bush babies out there, man. Hey, y'all bush babies need to hit that PayPal and that Cash App and that super chat for this advice, man. All you bush babies out there.
And I'm not talking about hood ones. Because the hood ones, they're going to do good. The hood, a hood bush baby, she's going to get a man. The, the bush babies from the hood going to get a man. <laughs> we see that all. I mean, shit. The, the bush babies in the hood, they they got niggas that kill your ass. They got niggas that kill you for just for talking to them and shit. But I'm talking about you famous bush babies, man. <laughs> all you famous bush babies, man. Like Lupita, man. Um, find you a white man, man. Don't be trying to holler at these brothers, man. These brothers want Latinas and, 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 and red bones, man, and um, biracial chicks, man. These brothers don't want you, man. <laughs> I hate to say it, man. I thought y'all do. That's the... The reason I never said it before was because I thought y'all knew, man. <laughs> Press one. I thought y'all knew. But uh, see, like y'all slow, man. Yeah, go ahead and get you a white guy, man, or um, Indian guy or Latino guy, man. Because once them brothers get some money, man, they don't want no bush baby, man. Salute to Osa the healer, man. Osa got three baby mothers. I was I saw a show, man, where they was dogging Osa, man. They was trying to make Osa, they was telling Osa a pookie because he got three baby mothers, man. They was dogging Osa on that show, man. Like he was um fucking future or something. But that's not the point. I would like to know though, Osa, man. Since you say for the dark skin sister, you got three baby mothers, right? How many of them is dark skin? Just for the just for the nation, Osa. Just for the nation, man. How many of them is dark skin, man? How many of us stars get Osha? Osha? Mm. Huh? Damn. He trying to word it right. He trying to word it right, man. He trying to he trying to let us down easy, man. He get, he 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 getting politi political, man. He looking in the thesaurus trying to see. What do you mean by dark skin? Technically, the skin is. <laughs> see, see, the pigment in the hue, once it passes this gradient, technically, we are all dark skin. Press one. Technically, each and every person from the diaspora that was stolen, stolen from their tribe and immersed into a culture in which they were sullied, defiled, watered down. Technically, Ozzy said one. He said a solid one, man. <laughs> Salute to child layers, man. He said glider chicks are top of the food chain. I disagree with that, man. I live in a town full of gliders, man. I'm telling you, the Farrah Fawcett and the Scarlett Johansons, you don't really see them like that. The, the hot ones, the hot glider chicks you see be mostly them dark haired Italian ones. Like the ones, but you don't see a lot of like 
fine white women just all, all, all when you're out and about, man. And trust me, I'm a son, man. I don't be looking, but like I got that got that son man shit where it just and I don't see him. You you see some every now and then, but it's it's not like damn, no, no white bitch, damn, no white bitch, damn, no. And when I stay in DC, DC is pretty gentrified. I just don't see it. I don't. I don't see it. Maybe they're hiding somewhere. Yeah, Selma Hayat, man. I used to fucking dog. We didn't have Instagram. We didn't have. X videos. We didn't have Pornhub back in my day. So, man, Selma Hayek movies was what, what I had, man. Yeah, Selma Hayek movies. Got a nigga. Get you a Selma Hayek movie. Lock your door. Ah, the good old days. White women just, white women, I think white women are like bush babies, but they got the status. They living off their, they living off their, um, they already, um, now I will say this, I will say this, I will say this, white women are not the nicest women on the planet. Press one. And most all women suck for, for women, women are fucking annoying as shit. But of all the women on the planet, white women are the easiest to get along with. White women are the easiest to get along with. And all women, all women, all women. White women are the easiest to get along with. I will tell you that. I will give you that. Brothers, usually when a brother get with a white woman, you sisters, you not getting them back, man. Sisters, you ain't getting them back. Once a brother, that's why, that's why brothers, that's why sisters try to keep brothers away from white women, man. Right? Sisters try to keep brothers away from white women, man. Because they know once a, once a brother get around a white woman and she nice and shit and she, brother ain't coming back, man. That's what, man. Once a brother, get, white women got a way about it, man. I ain't going to lie, man. I ain't even gonna lie, man. If me and my wife don't work out, man, you're gonna see Ock Nation pop up with a white woman, man. Just so I can be happy. It ain't about looks. At this point in life, it ain't about looks. <laughs> it ain't about looks, man. At this point in life, man, it ain't about looks, man. A nigga just won't be happy, man. Niggas just won't be happy, man. And I'll tell you, like, Latinas look better. Don't get me wrong. And biracials look better when they're pretty. When they're ugly, they're ugly. When, they, when Latinas is ugly, they're ugly. When biracials is ugly, they're ugly. The cute ones look better than the cute white ones. The white women, white women, nice man.
Yeah, that nose, man. You got to kiss white women like this. Press one. You got to kiss white women. You would kiss a sister like this. You got to kiss a white woman like this. <laughs> you got to tilt your head to kiss a white woman, man. Crazy Joe says white women are anxious. <laughs> Yeah, comparison. Though. I will give you that. Not he's not he's not telling no lies. Like just talking to them, man. They be interested in you and shit. You talk to a white woman, they be interested in you, man. They they be non-judgmental and shit. <laughs> they be non-judgmental and shit, man. She says, Dawn says, some men been looking like old and like runaway slaves these days. No <laughs> hey, listen, though, man. Here's the thing, though. I know I look like an old runaway slave, man, Jethro. But here's the thing, though, man. I promise you, man. It don't matter, man. I'm a son, man, man. I'm a son, man. It don't really be mattering, man. <laughs> I'm a son, man, man. Son, man, it don't matter, man. We, we, um, we, uh, we electric, man. When it comes to that, man. When it comes to like, uh, like, you know, attraction and shit. We electric, man. All I gotta do is brush brush my teeth and wash my face, man. I just I'll be good, man. So I'm in electric, man. We magnetic. Now, am I saying that we make more money than anybody else? No. Am I saying we better fathers than anybody else? No. Am I saying is that nah I ain't saying that. I'm talking about just the base level attraction, man. I'm a son, man. Trust me, man. It's and especially with other races like whites and shit. Most son men, it's easier for them to get white girls and, and, and Latin Latinas and shit like that than it is black girls. And they happier. Most son men is happier when they would when you were a white girl. White girl don't care about Jordans and shit. White girl don't care about Jordans and where you be at and how many bodies you got and shit like that. And how many degrees you got or or some other girl wants you or some shit. White woman take you as you is, man. And so will a sister. Don't get me wrong. A sister will take you as you is too. But a sister gonna be a sister gonna fuck give you hell about it. A sister will take you as you is, but she gonna give you hell for it. A white woman. It's different, man. They different, man. I just know the dudes that I know that are with white women, they got a glow. Press one. <laughs> the dudes I know, they, they, they got a glow when they be seeing. They, be, they got a lightness. They lighter, man. It's like they just, they don't have the weight of the world on their shoulders, man.
<laughs> he said my wife here this in the distance. Listen, man. All this stuff. Listen, I could be happily married and happy as hell. And all of this stuff could still be true. Press one. I will say this. Sisters, man, salute to all you sisters out there. This is in no way a diss of any sister. I don't think this could even be misconstrued as a diss of any sister. I told y'all, sisters, I told you, Bush babies do well in the hood, man. It's just when, when, when once you get to Hollywood and once you get to the fame, the celebrity class, the, the upper class blacks, most of them brothers don't want no bush baby, man. I didn't say but nobody want no bush baby. I said wealthier men don't want bush babies, man. I'm not in no way am I saying that bush babies can't get no man. All I'm saying is if you a wealthier bush baby, you need to go ahead and get you a white man or no, don't waste your time on these brothers, man. They don't want you, man. That's one. And listen, man, Latinas are, um, they spicy. Don't get me wrong. They spicy, spicy, spicy. But they love them some niggas, man. Latinas love niggas, man. <laughs> Latinas love if you if you if 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 you are Latina, if a Latina, when a black dude kicks some game to a Latina, she feel she feel um honored and shit. <laughs> Latinas be feeling honored when a brother kicks some game to him. That team love them some brothers, man. Their family, now don't get me wrong. Their families ain't into us. Their families, the older generation, ain't into us. Because they know we're going to fucking come around and put some bullshit. But them, the actual Latina. I'm not talking about her family, her brothers, or father. I'm not talking about that. Her mother. I'm not talking about none of that. I'm talking about the actual Latina. They love some son, man. They love us, man. And I'm talking about all of them from the refrigerators, from the mini fridges, to the um to the ones like this. From the mini fridges to the ones like this, man. I'm telling you, man. Coach Prime, man, ain't nothing wrong with... I don't have no problem. I like Coach Prime, man. I'm a fan, man. I'm a fan, man. I like Coach Prime, man. I'm a fan, man. <laughs> Coach Prime said, I just want to be happy, man. <laughs> Coach Prime said, I just want to be happy, man. Only way you could be happy, man. It's hard to be happy with a sister, man. 
It's hard, man. Let me drop the link, man. Who did you see? Let me drop the link, man. Hard to be happy with the system, man. <laughs> A lot of news from here. Well, first off, I gotta ask you this, man, because I wanna I wanna stay on this topic right quick. Yeah. Uh, are you down with the brown, man? Let, let me know you I've got two for channel. How do, you, how do you mean? Are you down with the brown? Have you have you ever um, dabbled in the um? Have you ever dabbled in the in the dark? <laughs> no, no, only with only with white women. The last uh, one, feel- the, the last one, I regret bitterly. Yeah, you missing out, bro. Racist. What's up, Olsen man? Olsen man. Hey, what's so you up? got, so you um, you three. What you say? You got three baby mothers and one might be dark skin. If you look no, at one, it in the right shape. Yeah. No one is definitely dark skin, and it depends. People's scale be different. That's what I'm saying. Lupita, she's not really all that dark to me. So if people think she dark, then I might have two. Oh, you think Lupita's not dark skin? <clears throat> uh, I mean, not nah, not really. I like them dark joints, bro. <laughs> like them joints. So you you wouldn't consider yourself dark? No, nah, I think I'm like close to the baseline for dark skin. Like Why I think screen frozen. Your screen is frozen, bro. Is it? Or is that or is that just my Wi Fi? It might be. That might be my Wi Fi. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. But um, no, nah, I'm at the bottom. I don't think Lupita's as dark as me. I think I'm darker than her. I think I'm dark skin, yeah. Mm. But maybe she be having on a lot of uh, makeup and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah you know, definitely. on that live stream joint, yeah, they was cooking me though, man. They was cooking me hard on that joint. But you know what? Um, you got? Do you have that joint? Because I, I, I play it. I play a snippet of it if you got. Um, I I gotta find it on this on that. This might be risky. I'd have to go back. It was like a month ago. Um, okay. But yeah, you know, I think that's just a reflection of um of sun sun people. You know what I'm saying? Like people judge you based on what they are in themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like I if I you know if I say, yeah, I was married, I was engaged, I was in serious relationships with the women, it's still like I'm like future. <laughs> yeah. Like just out here slinging. And it's like I I I have three kids. Like what my my father has three kids. I mean, yeah, he has one wife but it's, it's three kids it's, it's not like thing, yeah. yeah it's like what's the difference but i think uh i think uh yeah most of those men most of those dudes most most sun men are just really shitty human beings so like that's like on that test when they give you for like an employment they'll ask you questions like can people be trusted and if you say nobody can be trusted they use that against you because that's a reflection of you're not a trustworthy person so it's like it's like that you know what I'm saying? Yeah, most of yeah. them, most of them ain't shit. Most of them treat women like some bullshit. Most of them have been pookies and ray rays. So of course they see an opportunity to attack. They gonna jump on it, man. So I, I wouldn't even tripping all that. But they was coming for me. They was coming from my throat. Yeah, definitely. Uh, um, what do you think about this though? Like, what is your, what is your, what do you, do you, do you think that white women are angels? I don't know, man. I, I haven't really been with one, but they nice. The ones who I've like been like acquainted with, like, they nice though. They do be nice, and it seem it would be refreshing. Give At this us some point, other qualities. Give us some other qualities. Be more descriptive. What are the qualities you see in um and any in any? Do we got any swirlers? Any um any? Yeah, um, I haven't swirled this I don't have a good enough like perspective because I haven't swirled. Me I'm, neither, I'm, though. Me neither. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah okay i thought maybe you had you know what i'm saying no, um, no. I, 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 I like the, um i mean they just seem like nice they have like conversation they have more like depth of conversation you could you could like they're more cultured they be know more about yeah. like, history than we do <laughs> oh yeah. yeah and 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 they're um they're just they're Both just nice. i remember when i was um i was like like five years old or something i was in kindergarten i, I made 
had missed my bus stop or something, something. And this little glider girl, she took me to her house, got off the bus with her, took me to her house. Her mother like brought me inside, sat me in the kitchen, fed me and called my parents just to get me home. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that, was my first, that was one of the first things that happened to me uh, in America when I first came. Here. <laughs> yeah, so, I always thought white women was nice and like you know they like they listen like a, a lot of the stuff that you said like they be listening. Um, you know, you know American. Say it again. You know American. I mean, I am by um by definition. Yeah, I was born here. I got a blue passport, but my parents are uh, from Nigeria. All right. Yeah. First generation. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I think that they, they they seem nicer. Like I'm at the point. I'm kind of like you. But I said that ten years ago. I was in a relationship like ten years ago. I was like, if this don't work out, man, I'm going for a glider. But it's that was like ten years ago. I still haven't really been intentional. Is it that you're scared to um, approach, or you don't know how to approach, or is it is it something else? It's a combination of that. Plus, I just don't be around them enough. In spaces, yeah. It's yeah. A lot of spaces. Yeah. Like I, I just be around a lot of sun people socially. And then then the the white chicks that I do be around, they was in they was like uh what you call them? Like them little activist spaces. Them joints be corny. Them like them goofy liberal white girls, they drop. Oh, corny. them type jumps, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they but they they definitely they like be down. Sun man, yeah, they they stay down with the sun though, yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, they <laughs> they kids in the last ten years. <laughs> um, just one. I got a six year old. I got a fifteen, uh, a sixteen year old, and a seventeen year old. So, wow. Yeah, I was I was men out here. What they all boys? Nah, I got two boys and a girl. My girl's in the middle. So you got a you got a college. You got two college kids in the next few years. Yeah, my son, my oldest is a senior. Yep, he about to go to college. Damn. Yeah, I was married once. I was in uh, and I was engaged once. So I mean, I tried to do it the right way. It just same way. Yeah. Out. Yeah. I tried. Do you man? It does. It it it, 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 it tell them sisters. Listen, it just is what it is. It is it's what just it is. not like yo, all, all of all the groups, even a nice sister, right? A nice sister. Like, let's just say you find a sister that's a good conversation with us. You can converse on all that stuff when you meet them. By the time you get in a relationship, y'all ain't never going to talk about none of that stuff. It's going to all be about bullshit. Hey, dead ass, man. That that ain't no lie. There's no lie about that. I didn't, because I get to meet the nice ones. They, it's it's like that, man. They be having a good conversation. They they can talk, communicate, jumps be smart, and then then it just taper off real quick. <laughs> like, God damn. Ness is real with them joints, man. Yeah, they get you in. Once they get you, man, into their lair, man, they, they pull the fangs out on you, man. Yeah, yeah. And then and then it just be difficult, man. It'd be difficult. It's, it's real difficult. You, yeah, you just got to, that's, you know what I mean? I don't even want to, like, but it's, it's just hard. That's why we just be, we don't know how to deal with each other. And then they're empowered. By even the nice ones, they're empowered by the society around them. Even the nice ones will tell you they don't need you. Like those are the nice oh, ones. Yeah. Like, I don't need a man. So it's it's not just to say that all this like just the ghetto joints that be like that. All of them, like not all of them, obviously, but you know the vast majority. You can't say, oh, she's nice, or she don't think like that. It'd be like, nah, bro, nah, yeah. bro. So it's a different yeah. mentality. It's a different mind state. You know what I mean? How can you really, how can you be with somebody who don't need you? <laughs> right. And and you know, one thing I noticed is that the, 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 the times, the two times that they talk about where marriage to black women was successful is Africa and um, like post-slavery um, the Reconstruction era, um, Jim Crow era, mm -hmm. um, right? 
So here's the thing about Africa. Africa, women have no rights in ancient Africa or pre-colonial Africa. Women had zero rights and polygamy was a big part of, um, you know what I mean? The situation, men had right. multiple wives and blah, blah, blah. So that whole mythology about how he was married and stuff back in that, that's all bullshit. Nah, then you take post-colonial, I mean, post-slavery, um, Reconstruction era, you know, when they talk about the black family before Democrats ruined it, all those dudes had multiple families on the other side of town. All of them. Most older black men I know, if you talk to some old black people, they're going to tell you their dad had a whole family on the other side of town. I mean, a whole entire family. Yeah, and my, me and my father, we was actually just talking about that. He was talking about, like, his parents' generation, just the men. Like, even, like, my grandfather was, like, you know, respectable dude, 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 but he had a whole nother family. Both my grandfathers was like that. Like, my my, my mother's father, he just straight went polygamy, but my my father's father, he just, he, he put on the... Right? Yeah, he snug it. He put on the the front like he was doing good, and people thought he was the man. But whole, he had a whole family on the side, like a whole family, not just yeah. a chick on the side, like a whole family on the side. Yeah, like he eat he eat dinner over there before he come home and shit. <laughs> right, probably some shit like he that. Whooped, he 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 whooped them kids and shit and put them on punishment and shit. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like he he like well, listen, man, I know so many. So many people have told me, like people that these people would probably be seventy now. That that age, sixty five to like seventy five, boomers. So many boomers, boomers have told yeah. me that their father had a whole family on the other side of the time. I mean, I yeah. mean, an entire. But the kids wasn't the the kids wasn't because remember before the cell phones and Instagram and all that stuff. Couldn't nobody snap no picture of you. It was all rumors and shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Right. And it's hard to verify that. Even in like 2004, man, like you could have, you could still do that stuff in like 04. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I know a dude who had, who had multiple that like shit going on. But nowadays you can't do it because if somebody see you, they put you on blast. And then, yes. you know what I'm saying? It's too many ties with yeah. the phone location and right. it's too and many side, ways. Side chicks ain't loyal no more. Yeah, side the chicks art, ain't loyal. The art of and, side chickery is just not the same. These jumps, nah. But they have a lot, they have more at their disposal. Maybe those women back in those days that oh, they had more at their disposal. Good point. Good point. Yeah, because the side chick always wanted to be the main chick. But yeah, it was it was um it's, having multiple families was very common back in those days, man. Um, That's in Africa man. and in America. Yeah, it's black a sun, dudes, man. It's a sunny trait. Yeah, exactly. Hey, yo, why I met one time, I'm, I met this dark skin joint, beautiful joint. She was from like Senegal. She was bad as a motherfucker. And she said she had a boyfriend. And I was like, man, just out of curiosity, is he white? She was like, how did you know? <laughs> Yeah. Because the Bush baby, my, she was a Bush baby. Yeah, she was a deep Bush baby. Oh, she was <laughs> but like oh the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful. Right, boys. no doubt. No, Bush babies could be beautiful, but it's just like I think black celebrity class or upper class men have a type. I think a yeah. Bush baby could do fine in the hood. All yeah. the Shaniquas and the Latin Shanasias in the hood, they got they doing all right, they chilling. Yeah. But I think once you get to that next class, ball players, rappers, uh, they don't want job. nothing to do with a bush baby. Even average dudes, shoot, even average dudes barely. Like if they had more options, they wouldn't rock with these these, these <laughs> babies. They just don't got options, so like they'll rock with them. But yeah, yeah. Oh, I had some. I had some of the prettiest bush babies in DC, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Yeah, Shit, man. Yeah. I'm gonna, I ain't gonna lie, man. It's, it's it's a fact. I can't deny it. Um, <laughs> it's some bad joints in DC. Yeah, it's a fact. 
it just yeah. is what it is, man. Um, but I know that you know that brothers once they get some money, they not they don't want them jumps, man. Um, salute to, uh, salute to D 